In the previous video, we learned how to secure pages with the getSession function. We saw that the useSession hook was always in a loading state, which is why we had to resort to this getSession function. But let me now tell you, we can fix that behavior of useSession by adding a provider that the next auth library offers. And in this video, we will learn how to do just that. Before we proceed, let me tell you there is absolutely nothing wrong in using either get session or use session to manage session state client side. In fact, the whole point of me using get session in the previous video was to introduce you to an alternative of the use session hook. But having learned that, let's now go back to our use session hook and make sure we are able to share the session state across components. So not just the navbar, but also different pages. Now for the dashboard page, we used the get session function. So I'm going to leave the code as it is for your reference. Let's instead work with the home page. In index.js, I'm going to import the use session hook and call it within the component. So import use session from next auth slash client and within the component const session comma loading is equal to use session. Let's also log the values. I'm also going to comment out the log statement from navbar. If we now go back to the browser and refresh, you can see that loading is true infinitely and the session value is never determined. This of course is a problem if we want to render the UI based on whether the user is logged in or perhaps if we want to extract details from the session object and display it. For example, the profile URL, email ID, etc. To fix this behavior of use session, the next auth library gives us a provider which we can use at the top of our component tree. In an Next.js application, that would typically be underscore app.js. So at the very top, import provider from next auth slash client and then instead of the fragment use the provider. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, refresh, you can see the session transitions from loading to loaded and we have session set to null. If I sign in, the session object is set. We can once again rely on use session to perform any client side conditional rendering that we want. For example, before the welcome text, we can add if the session exists, render session.user.name a comma, and if it doesn't, render an empty string. If we now go back to the browser, we see Vishwas, welcome to Next.js. And if I sign out, the text is gone. And this works because of the next auth provider. The provider allows instances of use session to share the session object across components by using React context under the hood. In fact, it is highly recommended that you always use the provider as it improves performance, reduces network calls to get the session, and avoids page flicker when rendering. Let me quickly demo that. When I refresh the home page, you can see that we have to figure out if the session is present or not. 
The use session hook does it internally by making network requests. You can see that here in the network tab. And because this takes a few milliseconds, it does cause a flicker in the welcome text. So if I sign in and refresh, you can see the flicker with the welcome text. I hope that part is clear. Now the provider doesn't eliminate the network call or avoid the flicker. Instead, it provides an improvement to a certain extent. Let's say we navigate to the dashboard page and refresh. Our session details are fetched at this point in time. If you now navigate to the home page, we don't see the flicker. In the network tab, you can also see there is no additional network call to fetch the session as the provider will hand it to the use session hook. In the console log, we have just one log statement where the session is already loaded. And because we don't have to transition from loading to loaded, there is no flicker in the welcome text. I hope you can now see why having this provider is the recommended approach with the next auth library. I didn't bring it up till now because we would fail to understand otherwise what use this provider actually brings to the table. You, on the other hand, Make sure to add the provider in underscore app.js right after installing the next auth package. All right, with that, we have now covered client-side authentication in Next.js. In the next video, let's take a look at server-side authentication. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like as it helps out a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.